Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking empty skincare. This is one of my favorite videos to do, and I know it's one of yours too. I just find it so satisfying to use a product from start to finish. And y'all really loved the ranking with emojis version that I did last time, so we're going to continue on with that. I'm going to be ranking all my empties for you, letting you know exactly how I felt about them down to the last drop. If you're so ready to jump in, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So this is the Kose Softy Mo Speedy Cleansing Oil, and I'm just gonna give you the writing right away. This is the emoji with star eyes. I was really impressed by this. I mean, this is a hardworking oil cleanser. It really does break through lots of layers of heavy makeup and sunscreen and mascara really effortlessly, really melts everything down and washes away cleanly. And the, really the reason why I'm giving it star eye emojis is because it's so stinking affordable too. I mean, it's just so hard to ignore something that is just solid, you know, that works effortlessly and that's easy on your wallet. So next is the Geek and Gorgeous Mighty Melt. This is a cleansing balm and I'm going to give this the smiling emoji because I did enjoy this. Um, I don't know that I'm in love with it or like, like wildly impressed with it, but this is a very good product. I can't fault it too much. This is also a fragrance-free cleansing balm, which I find very hard to find <laughs> just in skincare in general. I don't have really anything to fault the product with. The only thing I was slightly disappointed in is while the packaging is really beautiful, this is one of my favorite shades of purple, so I really am like attracted and drawn into this packaging. The actual um, package, it does seem kind of deep, right? Um, wide and, and somewhat deep, but it actually only goes about halfway down um, in here. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's not all the way down to the bottom. And so I feel like I emptied this a lot sooner than I was expecting. It's a hundred milliliter of product. I think that's fairly standard for a cleansing balm. I don't think anything shady has occurred here, but just like my expectations with using it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm reaching the bottom already. I wasn't quite ready for that. This is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Plus Wash, and I'm going to rate this with the heart eyes emoji because you probably know this is the holy grail cleanser for me. I absolutely love this so stinking much. It's a hybrid between a milk like moisturizing cleanser and a foaming uh, gel type of cleanser. And that's just like the perfect, you know, sweet spot for me. It's a really solid cleanser. Um, I have multiple bottles. <laughs> I'm actually halfway through another bottle of this right now. So very possible you'll see it in the next empties too. So um, yeah, heart eyes emoji, one of my holy grails for sure. This is the Isentree Green Tea Fresh Cleanser. And I'm going to rate this with the laughing, but also sweating nervously at the same time emoji <laughs> because I'm kind of a little bit bit nervous about this because I don't really love this. Um, I want to love it. That's why I'm laughing and sweating at the same time. I want to love it. It's just not right for my skin type, um, but I would not hesitate to recommend this for oily skin types. And that really tracks with the rest of the um, green tea line from Isentree. It really is geared towards controlling oil um, on oily skin types. And I feel like the cleanser is no exception to that. This is definitely gentle. Um, this is definitely a low pH respectful type of cleanser. There's not stripping ingredients in here. The texture, it's not a um, full on like traditional foaming cleanser type of texture. It's got more of like a jelly bouncy type of texture with real green tea bits in it. It's very low foaming and that's like another kind of hint to tell you that it's not like a really surfactant heavy harsh and stripping cleanser. It is very gentle. It just like envelops your skin. It cleans really effectively. It feels great. Um, but my skin always just feels like a whisper too tight, a whisper too dry when I use this. It's not full on stripping, but it's just enough where I'm like, I don't feel comfortable using this a bunch because I don't want to push my skin too far. I know you've been waiting for the category of toners and essences. I have quite a few empties here for you. This is the Nine Wishes Hydra Ample Toner. I bought this on iHerb in um, the springtime. I know this was one of my monthly faves. Could not tell you which month it was. It might have been April or May, um, but this toner is so good and it reminds me a lot of the serum. It has that same deep
deep down, really replenishing hydration, a little bit of a body, so you get just that little plumpness and juiciness to the skin, but there's actually a balancing element to this toner too. It's not heavy, it's not like a thick creamy layer or anything, it doesn't overwhelm the skin, but there's just a little something that feels like, it just kind of like gently ah, hugs everything in. You know what I'm saying? That little bit of bounce, almost like a gel-like texture that just hugs everything in. The Make Prime Relief Essence Toner, writing it with the heart eyes emoji. You know this is a holy grail for me. Another one bites the dust. I actually don't have a backup right now. Um, I haven't for a while. I've just been going through all my other, I have so many toners. I don't feel right buying um, anything more until I empty some of those. So you may not see this, well you probably will. Um, you'll see me recommend it, but you may not see this from me for a while because I'm trying to work through some other toners. Give some love, you know, to the other products, but like deep, deep, deep in my heart, this product lies. It is an absolute holy grail and one of the best really, really hydrating toners. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner, and I'm gonna rate this with the star eyes emoji because this really impressed me. I thought this was gonna be a really thick textured toner just because there's snail in it. I'm thinking like Cosrx Snail Essence, right? It's actually a lot thinner and waterier than that, so it actually acts like a toner really beautifully. It sinks deeply into the skin, really hydrates it, but because there's that snail element, you get that plumping um, kind of action, that juicy goodness, um, and a little bit of balance too. Maybe not as much as the Nine Wishes toner, but just a little bit that felt so refreshing in the heat of summertime especially. I've been on a real snail kick recently. It's really been helping my skin so much, and I feel like this is such a gentle way to treat breakouts or if you have congestion-prone or acne-prone skin. Skin. You have inflammation prone skin. Snail is so great for treating all of that, reducing redness, swelling of pimples to facilitate healing. This is the Cane Kombu Balancing Ampule Toner. And I just call it the kombucha toner because kombu is kind of weird. Um, but that's exactly what this is. It's kombucha tea in here. So we've got that fermented tea goodness. It's really hydrating. All of these toners have all had a really similar texture because we're talking about stuff I emptied in the summer months. So really deeply um, hydrating and replenishing and watery with just a kiss of body that gives you just that little like fullness and that little plumpness to the skin. What, um, the way that I like to describe this is, you know I love Dr. Sarah Cole Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. That's the dual layer one with the tea portion and then that cream portion at the top. If you only had the tea portion, that's exactly how this is. That it's almost, I feel like it's almost like ingredient for ingredient, probably close to what that is. That's how it feels on my skin. Oh, and I think I forgot to rate the cane toner. I'm gonna give it the heart eyes emoji. So let's move on to see I have a few for you this time around. First up is Neod Survival Zero. Now this is an antioxidant um, serum that is really meant to be very, very protective for the skin, give you that shot of good antioxidant love. And I'm gonna rate this with the um, glasses, like nerdy emoji, because every Neod product makes me feel a little bit nerdy because I love to dive into the ingredients that um, in any skincare product, but with Neod, they're always using really cutting edge novel um, ingredients and it's always very exciting and so that's how neon makes me feel and that's exactly how this serum makes me feel too. This is the Buy Wish Trend Polyphenols in Propolis 15% Ampule. This is the old packaging and the old name uh, because By Wish Trend recently updated the packaging and changed the name of this product to the Propolis Energy Calming Ampule. Now the formula did not change, so no worries there. What's inside the bottle is still the same goodness. Really for me, why I grab for this product is because it's a very gentle way to treat breakouts. The Propolis um, has that anti-inflammatory and healing benefit, and then there's Heart Leaf in here too, which has a very gentle clarifying effect for the skin. It's not stripping or astringent, but these ingredients together along with zinc PCA in here make it a really hydrating and balancing and gentle formula that does facilitate um, healing of breakouts and, and facilitates a clarifying, very gentle clarifying of the skin without the use of chemical exfoliants or as I mentioned, astringent ingredients. And so um, it's really something I like to have on hands because with sensitive skin, when you can't use a lot of those chemical exfoliants, it's nice to have something that can still give you results without pushing your skin. And so I'm gonna rate this with the heart eyes emoji because it is a holy grail for me. Next up 
up is the by wish trend sarah barrier soothing ampule i'm gonna write this with the star eyes emoji i have a really um a good block of serums here i really enjoyed um i bought this on iherb in the springtime and that was about the perfect time to get it because this is all about keeping your um barrier really strong it, but it goes about it you know definitely with ceramides and cholesterol but it also goes about it in a hydrating way which i think is so great because when my barrier feels weak the dehydration symptoms are so overwhelming so it's not full-on creamy there's a real hydrating element to it it's not really really thick and rich but there's just enough of that at the end that helps to just like hug everything in place and so like I said perfect for the spring and the summer months because when the weather starts to get a little hot you don't want to go for your full-on like barrier creams necessarily it can feel kind of overwhelming so this serum is a really nice replacement for something like that it's not too heavy it's really really hydrating and plumping but it still keeps your skin strong so this is the neod copper amino isolate serum and i have to give this the uh money eyes emoji because you know this is so expensive um it's about 90 dollars. it is an amazing serum um it is um focused in on copper peptides and tripeptide one using a really good amount of both but then the formula itself is just um really um formulated very smartly i think think it's all about targeting um, signs of aging on the skin, really keeping your skin in a very healthy state, helping to stimulate collagen production on the skin. And when I'm using this product, my skin feels so firm um, and almost even like lifted in a way. It's a really odd kind of thing to say, especially for somebody who's relatively young in their mid thirties to be like, my skin feels firm all of a sudden, but you notice changes as you start to get older. And sometimes when skincare does actually kind of tighten and firm your skin, you're like, wait a second, what's going on here? It just does, it just does something really special to the skin. It almost, I think about it almost in a way of like, it kind of gives your skin a little bit of a filter too, because it does seem to kind of refine the, the look of enlarged pores. I, I'm doing this because my enlarged pores are right here <laughs> like a lot of people's are right here I always feel like there's a smoothing effect um, to those enlarged pores there's like a lifting uh, type of effect this is a very powerful serum it is very expensive I think it makes sense why it's so expensive because of the ingredients that they're using. This is the Polish Choice Omega Plus Complex Serum, and I'm gonna give this the heart eyes emoji. Um, I've liked this for a really long time. This is a really, I would say this is like a serious barrier repair type of product. Um, it is a very creamy, very rich, lots of plant oils in here. You know how I was talking about the Wish Trend um, Serum, the Sarah Barrier Serum. It has more of a lightness and a hydrating, watery feel that's perfect for hot weather and it's not so rich yeah this is the counterpoint to that this is very rich very creamy it's almost like a lotion type of serum um, but it really gets the job done and um, I actually started using this in place of liquid gold earlier um, I, it was the spring or early summer when I was using this um, and it was really just purely because as I mentioned before like it's so important to me to really appreciate and use um, my products and so I had this in my cabinet for a while and I was ignoring it because liquid gold from Stradi is so similar. Um, but I was like, you know what? Um, I emptied my liquid gold before I purchased one. I'm going to switch in for this one. And yeah, there's differences between the two for sure. There, you could do a this or that. I think I actually have already done one um, and talk about the differences. A big one is that this does not contain niacinamide. I know that that's a big thing for a lot of people. Um, but as far as performance on my skin, just in my experience of keeping my barrier strong and why I use these types of products, I see no difference. They're both very high quality products. They go about it slightly different, but at the end of the day, the results for my personal skin have been the same. So this is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Eye Cream. And I'm going to rate this with the like side eye flirty, hey, you know, kind of emoji, because that's how I feel about this product. Is it a solid like smiley face? No. And is it a solid holy grail like star eyes or hard eyes? Not necessarily. But I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm flirting. I might want to see some more. I might want to see you some more. I'm not sure yet, though. Uh, we get we got to get to know each other a little bit better. Um, I do like the ingredients list here. It's a peptide a driven eye cream. I like the texture because it's kind of a hybrid between like a gel and a cream. Uh, it's not like super duper hydrating. It's a little bit more cream with some gel instead of gel with some cream. Does that make sense? Um, it's got a, a nice consistency that just kind of like almost like a, um, like a very light balmy kind of feel that just whoosh, 
like sinks into the skin with just like one little swipe. It's a really nice texture and it's not overwhelming. I think that's why I've had this for a while. I think that's why I actually emptied it though um, in the spring and summer is because the texture was not so thick and overwhelming. Results wise, this is why I'm like, I, I need, I'm flirting and I want to see some more, but I'm not sure. Um, nothing like spectacular benefits wise. I'm, I'm not against it. You know what I'm saying? I'm open to, to using this again. I really like the texture, like the experience. That's half of the battle with skincare is you want to have to use it, right? And I, I want to use something like this. It feels pleasurable, but um, I'm flirting. I, I'm keeping my options open. Uh, you know, I might see some other eye creams besides this one. This is the beauty of Josan Revive Eye Serum with Retinol to hide and ginseng. And I'm rating this a star eyes emoji. You know, I love this so, so, so much. Um, ever since it was released and I did my review on it, um, this has been a part of my eye cream routine. Um, this is something I don't use every single night. Um, this is only something like two, three times a week. It's, and especially with this one, it's like when I remember to use it um, because it is not my daily, you know, eye cream. Um, but I really like this. Talk about something that helps with uh, under eye darkness. This is also something that I feel like has um, actually given me more meaningful results than say the CeraVe eye cream has. I've, I also have used this longer, more consistently than that eye cream, but the retinol to hide in here is the real deal. It absolutely um, does work. I'm very happy with the results that this has given me. So let's move on to oils and creams. This is the Ordinary Chia Seed Oil. Not much to say here. I'm going to rate it with the heart eyes emoji. You know I have been in love with this for quite a few years and it's an oil that I pick up a lot in the um, more temperate months really. Um, spring and summer for sure. It's a really nice uh, kind of like medium to lightweight oil and very supportive for your skin barrier. This is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, and I'm going to rate this with the star eyes emoji um, because this is actually something I feel is very underrated. I did name this as a top product of 2022, um, but I think that this is always in the shadow of CeraVe Moisturizing Cream because CeraVe has had such a hot like social media moment in the last couple of years, um, but I think this is just as good as that, and in some respects, it may even be better. I really love this. I think that it needs a little bit more love. Um, I think it's totally underrated. I love this for face and body. Um, I've mostly been using this for body, but come the cooler months, I'm going to start putting this on my face too. It's a really nice, um, like barrier supportive cream with some good occlusivity to it. Um, and it is very, very gentle too. The Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Totally heart eyes emoji. This took me a really long time to finish, by the way. There's a very generous uh, jar that keeps on giving. And I think that's part of the reason is because of how I use this product. I don't necessarily use this as a full face moisturizer. Occasionally I will do a full layer um, on all of my face and then I'll top it off with another moisturizer. My skin type just needs um, more occlusivity. This cream doesn't really have occlusivity to it, at least not what I, my skin needs, but I love how this makes my skin feel. The quality of this is so amazing. It's hydrating, really plumping, and lightly moisturizing. And I love to put this underneath my eyes. I love to put it around my nose. I love how this makes my skin feel. This is the Swanee Coco Swan Cream Extra Hydrating. And I'm gonna rate this with a hmm emoji. And the only reason I'm giving it a hmm is because I'm almost like hmm, side-eyeing it a little bit. <laughs> I love this cream. It is fluffy. It's moisturizing. It's got that medium weight feel that I really gravitate towards. It's enough occlusivity to fight dehydration. It makes my skin feel really silky and conditioned and soft. I love it so, 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 so much. And the only reason that I'm giving it like, like, hmm, side eye, like I'm not really sure. The only reason I'm saying that is it's truly because I am aware that I am a skincare reviewer who talks a lot about fragrance-free products, right? So if it was just me all alone, not talking to you, I'd be like, I love this, I love this, like let's put it on my skin all the time. But because of that, I really do have to kind of side eye point out that this is technically fragrance-free. They're not like like super like marketing that fact, so I'll give that to them. They're not saying it's fragrance-free like all over the marketing. This technically doesn't have fragrance in it, um, but it's just really off-putting to me I can still smell a little like remnant in the bottle here. It has this kind of fruity floral smell to it. And that's because of the plant extracts that they're using. 
it's light. You'll smell it on application and then it'll go away. But you really do. I mean, like the jar is empty and I can still get a little bit of uh, that scent off of it. And so I find that misleading. Did they purposefully mislead us? No, they're not putting it in the marketing. They're not pushing it on you that it's fragrance free. But the plant extracts here are doing a lot of fragrancing work. And um, I guess just if you are into fragrance free products and you might just like glance looking for those fragrant ingredients, you might miss those plant extracts and you would be surprised. So that's kind of more why I'm like, hmm, side eye. I don't know what my official stance is on this as far as that aspect is concerned, but the actual product itself, I super duper love the performance, the texture, the experience, everything else about it. I love the fragrance never bothered my nose, my, my skin or anything like that, but I got to point it out. You know what I mean? I got to be a little bit harsh, <laughs> a little bit critical. And so that's why I'm giving it the hmm emoji. So let's talk sunscreens. This is the good old Hutania Cordata Calming Sunscreen. Now this actually um, was repackaged and I I think potentially the formula was tweaked. So I probably shouldn't say too much about it until I've tried the new one. I just don't know what has changed there. But um, if nothing has changed with the texture, this is actually really similar to Skin 1004 Hyalucica sunscreen. It has that really nice light gel almost consistency to it. it. Almost feels like you're not wearing a sunscreen. It's very, very comfortable and breathable. And that's why I really, really loved this sunscreen. And it's definitely on my list uh, to try the new one because this is something that is near and dear to my heart and I'm rating it with the heart eyes emoji and also the hmm emoji right because I don't know about that new formula so uh to be continued this is the Avene or the Aven a very high protection fluid sunscreen and this is the fragrance free version this is a European exclusive sunscreen so right there I'm just going to give it the uh, money eyes emoji um this is about $25 for a sunscreen it's not like terribly expensive but then when you're looking at importing it in from overseas and shipping and all that this can get expensive if you get hooked on this and you live in the United States. It's not that easy to find here. Um, but this sunscreen is exactly what it states to be. It is a very high protection. It's also fragrance free. Um, and that's really why I like it. This is something that I discovered when I was traveling through Greece last year and I bought my first bottle then. And then I bought it again for the summer and I actually bought another bottle, another tube that I have um, because I feel like it clings to my skin really well. It's very resistant to sweat. It's very, very protective and if it can stand up to summer in Greece you know what I mean sightseeing being outside all day sweating all day it really protected my skin last year that it can definitely stand up to mowing the lawn and doing some yard work um, outside this year and that's exactly why I purchased it definitely heart eyes emoji the little bit of a headache the little extra money for me personally is worth it to get that type of sunscreen this is the La Roche Posay wet skin gel Amphilios XL and this is something that I I um, also discovered while traveling through Greece last year. And like I said, if it can protect me then, it will definitely stand up to summer here in the Midwest. And the reason I go out of my way to find this is really the texture is amazing. Um, this is not that creamy, heavy, really rich um, type of texture that makes your skin feel really greasy and like you have to jump in the shower immediately because you're just like coated in like thick, plasticky, creamy greasiness. This is a gel texture, a true gel texture. So it's a really thin, elegant layer that absorbs and dries so quickly on the skin. Some denatured alcohol in here that really helps that process. So my skin does not feel sticky and greasy. It just like once it's in, it's in. And I love that. This is very water resistant too. I um, used this for swimming in the sea um, last summer in Greece and it kept my skin really protected. Heart, eyes, holy grail emoji for sure. This is the Necessaire Body Lotion. This is part of their fragrance free line. And this is something that the brand sent to me along with their um, body serum. Now I really liked their body serum and the lotion was always like okay, um, but it never really made a big impression on me. And um, I kind of like threw it in a drawer for a really long time. I was just like, whatever. And I have to say, I kind of want to give this the like um, X eyes emoji. You know what I mean? Like, oh, dead kind of emoji. The reason why it pulls that emotion out in me is I just feel like we've come so far, you know what I mean, in the cosmetics industry and in skincare and everything and body care is so popular right now. We've come so far to have to deal with this kind of stuff. 
And what I mean by that is this is a nice silky lotion. Um, it's got a really um, pleasing feel between your fingers, but it actually doesn't absorb very quickly into the body. Um, it does leave quite a bit of streaks. You really have to work it in to get it to absorb. And I was really surprised by that. Um, like I said, I did not pay for this, but I am no stranger to the, the Necessaire brand. This is not uh, cheap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something that is going to be used right after a, a shower or a bath, even when you towel dry your skin it's not soaking wet it's still not soaking in without really rubbing 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 it in and I just don't have to do that with like CeraVe and Cetaphil you know what I'm saying which I get a lot more product for a lot less money so that's kind of why I'm saying like x eyes like oh um I just don't like to deal with it it's fussy and as I mentioned earlier you know skincare and body care and all of these types of products you have to want to use them right and I just don't feel like I want to use this this is the Parnell Sika Manu pH balance body mist this is an exfoliating um body toner basically there's a little bit of, I believe, PHA in here that really helps to um, get the dead skin cell shedding off of your skin faster, like an AHA, but a little gentler. Um, there's also like, you know, Centella and everything in here as well. And big fan, heart eyes emoji. I really like this. It was part of a monthly favorites. I cannot remember when, um, but it's definitely a product that I loved when I first started using it and I named it a favorite and it is a product I loved till the end. What's special about this is the bottle, the mechanism for spraying is so good for spraying your back. I get breakouts on my back and this sprays upside down um, really, really well. Ooh, I know I say it at the end of every empties, but it seriously is like a marathon of skincare reviews, skincare reviews, skincare reviews when I'm doing all of those products all at once. It's a little exhausting, but it's also very satisfying. Almost as satisfying as seeing all of these empties that I've been saving for months and months, finally able to, you know what I mean? Take care of them, rinse out the bottles, recycle them. It feels good. I'm curious if you have emptied anything recently let me know your review with emojis in the comments below if you watch this whole video you made it to the end and you haven't hit subscribe yet please I would be so honored if you'd hit subscribe especially if you watched a video this long um, I am I'm all about like k-beauty I'm all about gentle skincare I just love skincare and if you do too come join the community I do release a lot of new videos throughout the week I do shorts and I also have a video podcast about skincare as well so turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And I just want to thank you for being here with me today and joining in on this empty goodness. I love you so, so much, and I'm so grateful for your support. I'll talk to you in the next video. See you soon.